Hello there, Ken Seri, and welcome into the channel. This is Sage Sense of Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right. I appreciate those likes that you leave on the channel, the shares, and the subscribes. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the healing family here. So we're going to get some messages out for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These are general messages. So all of them may not apply to all of you. So just take the messages that apply easily. All right. Just bring your vibration in here. Breathe with me and feel out the messages. <clears throat> so Cancer, someone may be coming back from your past maybe a family member or old love someone that you have emotional connection to so this can be romantic connections or otherwise okay coming back into your world so maybe this person is traveling home or traveling back they're gonna come around and i feel like this person may come directly to you to give you something you know they have that intention that they're coming straight to you to put something directly in your hand personally. I just felt that. Okay, so this page of wands, even though this could be, this, well, as I say, this may not be a, just a family member. This can be a romantic interest. Maybe it's an ex, a person you had a relationship with a long time ago. Or some, maybe some vibration like that. It just could be friends, but maybe more a little more than friends. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Yeah, so something ended. Maybe this person moved away, Cancerian, or this, this connection ended, or you turned your back on this person. But we can see this person is moving toward you <coughs> with an intention. As if they would want to rekindle rekindle some old flame and it's the energy cancer of this person maybe you had something sweet that's the word that came to me going on and they've been longing to get back to this sweetness that they had with you whatever it was some i hear the word cherish maybe they cherished these feelings and i hear forgetfulness and it's like there's this it's like they hold on to these feelings so maybe that's what they're coming around with and maybe i haven't said it clearly you know this is sex all right sexual energy all right it's it's like charm and all of that i am um so yeah 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 cancer so i feel like you've moved on i don't know you're you're focusing on other things over here i feel like you could be focusing on your money well well we know that we know you're focusing on your money your stability your mental stability just your overall well-being my darling all right you're just focusing on catching yourself back up um i don't know if i should say back up or because for some people some some of you cancerians are working on big things huge like big investments, like um, mm -mm, like settling deals. Yeah, some of you may be investors or bankers or stockbrokers or something like that, or you work in the law and you're about to something about a big deal that you're managing. Maybe you're running a project, you're managing a project or something. It's a really, it's big. It's great. It's a great project. So it's not just little things. And that you're, you're focusing on that. I feel like you deserve to... With the judgment card here, I feel like what you're focusing on is what is you ought to be doing at this point. This is where your attention should be, your focus. You have the right to really give your vibration to to this, this monetary balance. It's like close. It's like catching a big fish. You know what I mean? You have to be focusing on wheeling it in. You can't deal with what's behind you right now. People coming back. This. What's this? Let's try to see if we get messages. What is the five of swords? This one here behind Cancer. And this one that wants to come back. 
maybe this person was involved with someone else. We see three people on the card and the three hearts come out. It's just like I feel you're, you weren't interested or there wasn't anything for you to be interested in here. And that here playing around. You know what I mean? But maybe this person feels like there's still something. <clears throat> they may be sending you messages. See the two of pentacles repeating itself. They may be sending you some message. Okay. Some messages or a message. And we're going to see what this person has to say. What's this message? Oh, right. So they want to come back around to the old familiar feelings. Something that happened. Some, some, something that developed between you guys in the past. <clears throat> but there was a blockage, a disconnect. Maybe someone departed or focus changed. You know. So this person is just thinking, I feel mainly about the lack of connection between the two of you. As if they're just saying, hey, we haven't spoken in a while, what's up? You know, I've been, I've been thinking about you. Or I may be moving toward you soon, but we haven't spoken. What's going on with the connection, the communication? I feel like they're doing this because they have hopes to what? So this person could be something with you, maybe to reunite with you, to come toward you. So I don't know. This person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my God, they, want, they have a message for you. They're going to send you a message. They have something to say. Something about sobering up or something. Could be anything really. Could be love. The dream. Maybe this person is sorry. Or maybe this person feels like they want your forgiveness or your attention. Because the cards are saying it is hard not having you something about an answer. They want an answer from you or they're able to give you an answer. They feel like you're the cho their soulmate or something. They have a, a divine connection with you. That's how this person feels. Maybe they want some forgiveness or they just want your attention. Oh, so the way how you feel about this person is you're in block you're not interested the person wants to say something to you they want to create or they have um something that was created between the two the, the two of you and energy maybe both of you came together something like that are united your energies melded in some way shape or form the thoughts the feelings your energies your intentions and something came off of that so this person is still holding on to that feeling okay um it's that thing that you've created and i say it can be friendship here all right it could be friendship a friendship vibration but it's actually also a uh, um, an intense sexual energy or an intense drive or a passion, you know, attraction that pulls you, to, is pulling you towards something or wanting that, that which was created between two people, this energy that was created to last, to linger, you want it to flourish, to continue growing, 
okay so that's the energy it's as if they want to say let's make this grow or something like that some more sorry no yeah okay <clears throat> so this person feels sorry about some this is true love they feel like there's their secret or they're guarding something or blocking something or they could be studying watching someone and studying them waiting giving them time before they approach start sending messages or flirting they think they're this person is saying they're following their heart they're doing they're following their emotions mm -hmm. so, but they, they're not being that intimate connection anymore and wanting that just wanting to, to dazzle of this union once more you know it's that energy of i could say this i'm not going to say that mm -mm. Because it doesn't really apply to everyone. All right, so it doesn't apply to everyone. What is the energy of having that old fling or that feeling of that person that made you feel good? There was a separation, but now you're thinking of that person and you're, you're thinking, you're, you know, this person is wanting, not you, but this person wants to come around. No, so I don't know why my messages are not very clear. When I, anywho, this person wants to come around now and, um, to rekindle, rekindle that. You know, it's like they expect to come back to the city or to this old town and see you there. It's just kind of naive in thinking when I feel this energy. That maybe that's why I feel a bit upset. As if they think nothing would change and they would go back to this person and rekindle this old like they got bored with their life yeah that's why i feel upset because this person feels like they got bored with their life over there with you know they're probably married and want to come around to 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 say hey you know let's do remember that when we used to so on and so forth that's energy they may need your help too you know as i can say right so maybe you can listen but I say all of that so you may, you know, ex exercise some caution when this person comes around. Stand your ground, know who you are, know what you stand for. Remember where you're coming from. See what I'm saying? This person is coming with some injuries and some intentions. Yeah. And the moon card. Some secret. It's not the travel or the, them visiting you or reaching out to you. It's not it's something else is going on while they're reaching out you know what i mean as if like they're bored their wife wasn't listening or husband so they decided to come around to you you know what i mean so yeah all right so leaving these messages here in love oh my god that was not nice but that's what came up <laughs> oh my god you know cancer you know we should have looked at you more because your energy you are really unbothered here like i say you're just like hmm, okay that's what's going on but you're really just focused on where you need to be you see the sun is over you you're actually um also taking action to go toward your dream you have people around you that are attracted to your vibration of course you but you're not really focusing on that once again i'm going to compliment your hair you know because it's standing out for me here and yeah just continue doing you we're gonna all we're gonna shuffle again so to get more messages for you but that's it in love look for someone coming around a message a past love a past friend i know you know a little bit more of why they're coming toward you all right so see you in the next reading much love remember hit that like button share the messages with those you love and subscribe to the channel if you have not already much appreciated my love next time remember that you are all and all is within you. Bye. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. 
To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.